Hello everyone, my name is Manel. Welcome to Home Insights. Today we're going to talk about bathroom design. And I don't mean just the aesthetics. Yes, those are important because a bathroom is kind of like a sanctuary. Especially your own home's bathroom or bathrooms are kind of like safe spaces. Uh, it's a place of seclusion, a place to find quite away from you know, the high stimulation of urban living, a place to attend to our well-being in a more holistic manner, a place where we not only bathe, etc., but where we groom ourselves. So we're likely to spend quite a lot of time in bathrooms. I mentioned the word safe. I want to talk about that a little more in detail, uh, and I mean in a literal sense. So how safe are our bathrooms really? I'm sure the majority of us are able to use our bathrooms multiple times a day in a very safe way. But is, it, but is it actually like that for other more vulnerable people? So I'm talking in particular about people with certain disabilities, older people and children. Uh, you see, falls are the leading cause of traumatic brain and hip injuries for older adults with millions of people hospitalized each year. Did you know that out of these falls for elderly people, generally about 80% of them happen in the bathroom? Um, and it's not just older people, of course, it's differently abled people as well, uh, like I mentioned. But there are so many different kinds of disabilities that make people vulnerable to falls in the bathroom that we might not even think of. Uh, for example, mental disabilities, uh, the ability to think quickly speaks to your body's reflexes and uh, reactions. The better these are, the more resistant you will be to a fall. Uh, some people have ear disorders. Um, the ears are essential to maintaining proper balance and proper um, and in reducing the risk of falling. And apparently, elder adults should have their hearing checked as often as their eyes. The point being, there are a host of different medical conditions and disabilities that may or may not be diagnosed that render people vulnerable in bathrooms. So bathrooms should always be designed with certain design considerations in mind for all groups, uh, especially bathrooms in family homes. You're probably wondering why I'm focusing here only on bathrooms when it comes to safe design. Well, the reason is bathrooms are tricky in the sense that they can be considered uh, as high risk environments because number one, where there's water, there are chances of slipping and falling. And number two, it's where you lock yourself and are on your own. So it's harder for people to know that you've been injured uh, and it can take longer for help to come to you. So we're now going to talk about the main ways through which you can design a safe and comfortable bathroom space that can be used by anyone on their own with dignity. All right, so first we're going to talk about slip resistant or mat tiles. As the name implies, slip re uh, resistant tiles are tiles that have a coating that prevents you from slipping. Even when wet or slippery, this layer maintains a high level of friction. Uh, they are ideal for pool and bathroom floors, especially if you have children or elderly parents at home. They have all uh, the properties of ordinary tiles, such as heat, stain, and water resistance. And anti-slip tiles are available in a range of forms and colors, in addition uh, to being incredibly durable. Then we have lighting. Uh, many falls in the elderly are caused by vision problems or restrictions. However, some of these dangers can be mitigated by using enough lighting and ensuring that lighting is operational. Even those who do not have diagnosed vision impairments can benefit from good lighting and vice versa. Even if you have exceptional vision, bad lighting can put you at risk for a fall by making obstacles or making even clutter-free spaces more difficult to navigate. Overly bright lighting might cause its own set of issues. Sunlight is frequently uh, to blame in this case, although glaring uh, bulbs might also be to blame. A bright environment can prevent you from adequately analyzing threats in the room and strong lighting may also induce allergies. 
Bulbs are usually available in a variety of color temperatures ranging from cool white to warm white. A color temperature of 2700K is appropriate for bathrooms since it is closest to natural lighting. You need bright lighting in the bathroom also for a lot of grooming activities or for applying makeup for instance. But you also want to create a relaxed atmosphere, so put overhead lights on a dimmer switch to get the best of both worlds. Naked bulbs that are too bright are going to have the opposite effect that you're after and will be too blinding. So go for recessed down lights or for standardized bathroom ceiling lights which are waterproof and are used widely for restroom use. It is the ideal choice for the majority of bathrooms since it's totally protected against moisture and water splashes. To reduce resulting injuries from slips and falls, cover all sharp edges with adhesive protectors. For example, exposed shower cubicle glass should always be covered with rubber protectors. Anti-collision safety corner protectors with adhesive are also available for all corners. This is especially helpful for little children who could run into the corners of vanities because of their short, uh, short height. So all corners should always be buffered and cushioned. Check the bathroom for any leakages where pipes etc. could be leaking and making the floor wet. This often happens with taps that are closer to the floor where water is constantly dripping out of the shower head. Uh, or taps, a constant wet floor is extremely dangerous not just for children, elderly and disabled, but for all of us. According to statistics, generally one in three adults has trouble getting into and out of the bathtub. Yes, bathtubs, especially modern bathtubs, look nice, but they are not easy to use for a lot of people. So keep that in mind when designing a safe bathroom, especially for the elderly and disabled. The solution? The most easy to achieve and universal are curbless or barrier-free showers. What are curbless showers? There is no curb or other obstruction at the entry to this barrier-free shower. In essence, there is nothing to step over to enter the shower. So this helps prevent you from tripping over as well. This makes the bathroom transition from the rest of the bathroom floor seamless. The other design solution, if your budget allows, is walk-in tubs, where you can simply step into them over the low threshold thanks to the close to the floor door height. Related to the shower area, a really useful design feature is shower seats. Uh, you can consider enhancing your current setup with a shower or bath seat in a stylish way too. Safety chairs are offered in fashionable forms as well, despite the fact that they are frequently connected with hospitals or elder care institutions. Verify the model's weight-bearing uh, capabilities and choose one that complements your lifestyle, any space constraints, and the design of your bathroom. Accessible shelving and item display. Now, cabinetry is not always accessible when we need to enforce weight to open them. And so open shelving can be very easy to use and look stylish and minimal as well. Uh, shelves should also not be too high or too hard to reach for the elderly, for wheelchair bound users or for children. Usually about 40 inches from the floor is the appropriate height that we recommend. Consider incorporating grab bars in your bathroom. Grab bars are reachable rails that can be used to assist someone stay balanced and feel less worn out while standing. Uh, seniors, those with impairments and those recovering from an illness or injury that affects balance or mobility can utilize them to ensure their safety in the bathroom. It's recommended to add grab bars inside and outside the tub or shower and next to the toilet. Seniors and anyone with restricted mobility can take a safe, relaxing shower while seated thanks to a, a, a long shower hose. Um, they should be able to handle the shower head without worrying about the hose being too short. The shower head may also be lowered to reach people who are seated thanks to long slide bars. 
If the user is unable to manage the head with the long hose, this can be very useful. So there you have it guys. These are some ways that you can ensure a safer, more functional bathroom space for all age groups and physical and mental abilities. There are so many elderly people or disabled people who we know or are in our families who live on their own and who don't have assistance at all times. So it's very necessary for us to keep these design considerations in mind. We can also use these considerations to retrofit existing bathrooms and bring them up to date safety wise. And this doesn't only apply to new bathrooms that are being designed. So I really hope you liked this video and let me know in the comments if you have any points to add to this list. I'll catch you in the next video with a new topic related to architecture and interior design. Keep watching.